dare we say starting with the best uh, of these contests? Yeah, pretty much. Um, just kicking things off, we had number three, College of Idaho, this weekend travel to nine, Montana Western. Um, I've previously talked about the frontier and how these are like the two premier teams in the conference right now. I'm very high on my Montana Western, so I was very happy to see that they pulled this one out at home, 42 to 25. Um, but honestly, from the get-go, Montana Western was in control. They jumped ahead 21 to zero uh, early in the second. Didn't really give it up. College of Idaho obviously did fight back to make it competitive. But Michael Palandry, man, for Montana Western, looks like the best player in the entire NAI right now. 19 completions for 416 yards, four touchdowns, and interception. But I think he makes yeah. up for that by getting uh, two touchdowns on the ground as well. Um, just absolutely video game unreal numbers from Polandry and this Montana Western offense is explosive their entire wide receiver room is contributing Shipley had nine catches for 179 yards Norris had five catches for 127 and two touchdowns and Kirkley had three catches for 85 and a touchdown as well they're spreading Fast the ball out was definitely yeah. the uh definitely the right way to talk about it for the uh for the Bulldogs and they go down seven plays 76 yards to kick things mm -hmm. off in this one and College of Idaho actually came uh and tried to respond we're very close to actually doing just that um but their drive 11 plays 73 yards they ended up turning the ball over on downs and I think that was just kind of uh, a great summary of how the rest of the night or day, excuse me, looking at the time of, of this one, or how the rest of the day went for them. But that going down the field, 73 yards, driving down, they turn that over on downs, and then uh, Western goes eight plays, 91 yards. Hello. Yeah, and then followed was, by a quick three and out by the Yotes. Yeah, the Yotes could not get out of their own way. They only converted, they got points on three out of seven of their red zone trips. And that mm -hmm. includes like, Field goals, touchdowns, four times they didn't come away with any points in the red zone, which obviously if you score points there, this is a completely different game. Just couldn't punch it in when it mattered most. And that's also credit to the Montana Western defense. Uh, ben, don't break quite literally the definition of that oh, during yeah. this game. Um, but yeah, Montana Western <laughs> looks like one of the five best teams in the country right now. I'm still super high on them. I'm sure they'll lose some dumb conference game along the way because it's the frontier. <laughs> that's just how we roll. But uh, it was not the case today. Montana Western showed that they are at the top of this conference for the time being. And uh, College of Idaho has other things to work on. And it's good that this happens for them early in the season so they can have some time to regain themselves and build themselves back up. Yeah, the long ball was working incredibly well for Western. Mm -hmm. You go down the list here receiver-wise. Shipley caught a 48-yarder. Uh, Nurse caught a 44-yarder. Kirkley caught a 66-yarder. Like, mm -hmm. these opening up the top of the defense and stretching the field vertically, those kind of plays for them, uh, combined with the fact that they're sustaining 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 play drives down the field, it felt like, at least offensively for them, looking at this, that everything was kind of going their way. Also had five different guys register TFLs on the day. Had, looks like, six different guys register pass breakups as well. So guys filling up the stat sheet defensively for Western. And, um, you know, just a lot of, like you said, a lot of really good points coming out of this one. I'm trying to look and find... Special teams wise, anything too crazy, but nothing really jumps off the top yeah, of my head. Nothing. Only three punts for either side. I mean, yeah, it was it was pretty standard on the special team side of things. It the the time of possession too, like we talked about, College of Idaho, like not being able to get it done. They won the time of possession battle thirty six minutes to twenty four is what it rounds to. Yeah, which that really Great need indicator. to capitalize. Yeah, absolutely, really Great need indicator. to capitalize on yeah. that. So. Um, like I said, not the end of the world for College of Idaho, but Montana Western, man. They look really good. I'm really excited to see him roll. And uh, Palandry just going to keep adding to his player of the year resume. Absolutely. You look at their schedule moving forward, and we'll talk preview another time. But they're on the road for the next two at Lewis and Clark College. And then you get into frontier play. The first two, uh, I guess, back into frontier play, because this was obviously their opener into the conference. Mm -hmm. But at number 23, Southern Oregon, who's coming off a big-time win. And then at home, the Bulldog Bash versus number 15, Montana Tech. So, hello. Welcome back to conference play. Would not be surprised <laughs> if one of those two teams, I, you can't even say sneaks up on them because they're top 25 type opponents, but would not be surprised if, like you said, there's some cannibalism along the way. Also, on the other end, they play the way they did on uh, Saturday. 
those are all wins. Those are all uh, yeah. put into the W column. So uh, Destiny very much in the control of the guys in that locker room.